I know, it's horrible. All right, so um, we're going to... No. 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 <laughs> no. Do you want me to take a per board comment then? You go ahead. Well, maybe it might it might be worth at some point looking at increasing the number of uh, meters uh, that we're replacing so we can have everyone benefit from that service. A quicker thing. And then we're being better managers of our water. We're able to get our leaks. So the final, the final comment. Is no, I'm going to get the last word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I may have a last word. Yeah, the final comment on that is basically we notify our customers as soon as we know that they're right. Um, and I don't know that in the long term, replacing all the rest of them right now would really help us because mm -hmm. now, we've had, now we have a whole slug of them that are expiring at the same time. Right. No, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Right. Yeah. And then you've got more coming under, coming out of warranty at the same time, and it'll, 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 it'll be a good plan. It is very What's hard to explain. I understand. Let's move on to the fire chief. Two hundred and something. Two minutes or less. Okay. Well, had a meeting with uh, County Chief Jalbert just about uh, the district's position with our mutual aid on Medicaid. We short up our mutual aid where we're getting uh, a one, a one additional engine on everything other than medical aids um, and a chief officer. So if we have structured fires, things like that, we'll be getting additional equipment. Um, we also provided a fairly lengthy report on the history of the department the calls, the cost of doing those calls uh, to the county, and they're still reviewing the special district fire departments um, and trying to make a determination if there's a, a better or another way in funding and in rates to support the departments to make sure they're proficient in their service they're providing. So that report went off this last week, um, and there'll be further review by the county board uh, on that. But, Anybody doesn't know, know, we had a structure fire. This is not part of this report. We had a structure fire in the district up on the terrace last Sunday. And uh, we had a, an exceptionally quick response. I want to thank Scott and uh, Liliana Rojas who were on scene quickly and uh, took action and saved definitely uh, several structures on the west side of the, where the fire occurred, but five living dwelling, dwellings that people live in were an immediate threat, which all of them were uh, saved. We lost an outbuilding, a garage, and the content, but no inhabited structures uh, were lost. So I want to thank them for that. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Um, Good work. And other than that, submitted as written, if you have any questions. Questions, questions you minutes? Um, I have, I didn't hear from one of the people uh, whose house was saved in said that they were so grateful that Mr. Young was able to respond so quickly. They, they said the fire was, I mean, it was like right behind their house. And you went in their driveway, and I think it, they said the fire was very close to the propane tanks, and that was- It's an understatement. It's an understatement. <laughs> There's, a lot, There's a lot of things up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, at some point, though, because the structure fires, they move, I mean, it can get out of control kind of fast. I wonder if we have efficiency in our addressing system in the community in certain areas that would um, lead to a delayed response on either medical or uh, fires that can escalate. River Road is a very big problem, mm -hmm. and there is addressing issues. We do put notifications in the water bills periodically saying, help us help you, mm -hmm. please address your home properly using you know this this type of numbering you know the size number contrasting colors and things like that there is problems with county dispatch as well as far as uh, addressing and the well there's oak drive addresses on kennedy lane yeah. the house you went to is not accessible by its address no so i mean if you went there we you, made you were smart enough we to, made the right I mean, choice you figured it out yeah <laughs> but uh had you gone by the address we would have lost a lot of property. Yeah. And, you know, I think it was years and years and years ago that somebody down at the county planning department, someone went in there and said, I need an Oak Drive address. And they said, OK, I can use this one. And didn't even look at the map. Coming off of River Road and some of the properties on River Road, the way that the mailboxes are set up is extremely difficult to We go in metaphors <coughs> and fortunately not that many fires out in that area. but. It's hard to find people sometimes, and minutes make a difference when you're going on that. Right. 
and then you also have, I mean, all lesser extent, you have the Monterey Road, slow Monterey Road, so it's being signed up quite the right way. You have alleyways for one side's Street, the other side's Hell Street. I actually put together a list of addresses. I put together a list of addresses, and we have to send it off to ECC, and it'll say alley. Mm -hmm. So they'll know if they get an alley address, they can respond. Well, slow Monterey, Monterey Road. Road. How many addresses are uh, 700 Slow Monterey Road is one of them, and uh, the Parish Hall, I believe, is on Slow Monterey right. Road. And but there, there is no, there is no 700 down by. Uh, well, Sona is there? Is there a 700 down? No, there those are in the thousands. Because I've been thousands. responding to calls and going. <laughs> we had a vehicle accident recently, and that happened a couple months ago. Yeah. So, is there any way we can pursue any? Um, you know, concrete ways of ensuring the name of the county is served, or what, what we can do about this situation. I know because I don't want to have, have, have because of an addressing problem, a fire taking out somebody's home or killing somebody. That's just, it'd be it's up to the individual homeowner. The owner's responsibility to provide addressing for their house. If you look at Gregory Campbell's house, for example, he, he has a a blanket over his check valve out there and it has giant 9898 on it you know exactly where it's at so i use that as a as a as a monument basically to try to figure out where we're going but there's another address that we were going to down the road a little further extremely hard to find we identified it as a red mailbox house but once you got there you had to go you know an eighth mile dirt driveway to get to the property that was you know a flag lot in the back right. behind two other residents so it that whole area is mostly the area of familiarization is what's gonna, you know, make it work. Mm -hmm. But you have mailboxes out on River Road, you'll have a clump of them together and some will be Kennedy, some will be River Road. It's, right. And the addresses are completely have, they just different. Have the number, they don't have The them. numbers are completely right. different. Yeah. Is there any way of like maybe um, encouraging or, or make, you know, encouraging more people to update or anything else that we can do? Just I mean, education, prevention, we could try. I, I guess it's always bugging me the addressing system. It's just the, I think it's what's, in my personal opinion, awful thing of any community in, in the region. I just I don't know any other communities that really have this bad of an addressing system. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, that's we need to you know help us help you. Yeah, help us find you. Help us help you. Right. And we'll send out another round in the in the bills when we have an opportunity to print on the back side of the bills again. Because mm -hmm. that's what we do is we just put on the back, so we're not wasting paper. Did right. you get any response from people? No. <laughs> I don't know if people are to read the back of their bills. Is it in Spanish? I don't. Okay. Maybe you look at the consent <laughs> calendar. Is there any items that you, anybody wants to discuss in the consent calendar? Discuss uh, 1A. Do you want to discuss it? We're meeting minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another correction. Okay. Well, unless. Kelly's position has changed. Is he now the dissector of utilities? Or is he the director? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's on the day. I guess that's on the outside. Do you know what page that's on? Uh, it would be on page 9 of the minutes or page 33 of the document. It's under item number 7. Okay. Second paragraph. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for reading them. That was a tip. Uh, is, there, uh, <laughs> is there a motion? <laughs> is there a motion to approve the, the consent? A motion to approve it amended. Okay. As amended. I'll second. There you go. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Or there are one. As amended. Oh, there's other words I'd like to call them, but you know. <laughs> That's not one of them. That's not one of them. Ouch. I thought it was a cool job, Adam. <laughs> nice to hear. Oh, okay. action items. Review, discuss, receive, file the enumeration of the financial report for May.
which came to $14,599.63. We still have our 17 and 18 and 14 940s that are still outstanding. We hopefully will be receiving a check for approximately $12,000 as soon as they process that paperwork. Um, I am currently working on year-end reconciliations, um, getting ready to close out the year and start our fiscal year. It's been very busy. Um, Those tax returns that she's referring to would not have been identified or paid back to this district without Paul and Darch's work. Mm -hmm. Sorry to tell you. I, okay. <laughs> I can't remember were those overpayments on from our previous. Yes. Okay. We, oh, we are not required to pay future taxes. Right. And they were paying them anyways. Yes. Okay. I vaguely remember seeing when I first started here a letter from the IRS saying not to pay. What are, you, what are you doing? Right, and evidently it went by the wayside, and then um, we got that letter again, and we did a lot of research, talked to a bunch of the other districts, and um, came to the realization that we don't have to pay for them. So we are requesting all the money that we sent them to. Plus interest. Absolutely. I think there's interest and in, uh, because we overpaid, not the interest, it's like a, I think they call it late penalty or something like that. We should make up a penalty for them for paying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. no. I mean, that was one of the big questions I had was, okay, we want the interest on this money as well. So anyways, we, we're still working on that. Um, we also discovered that we are not supposed to be paying board members 1099s, so we're going to be sending out um, applications and uh, direct deposit request forms so that we can issue them on our table. So I, I don't, when do you think we'll be sending those out tomorrow, at least for the next board meeting? Yeah. For the beginning of our new fiscal year. And if you don't so want to get a 1099 and a W-2? No. W-2 only. W You'll get a ten. So you're going to catch us up on the taxes on the on the July meeting. <coughs> I'm going to give you a direct deposit slip and an application to get your information to put in our payroll system, so you will get paid with the ACA direct and ACH I don't direct want deposit. Direct deposit. I don't either. So That's but that that wasn't my. Uh, <laughs> That's how we do okay, we uh, have not the option. Direct deposit, but um, we my, have the option of not doing a direct. Deposit. Right. Okay. However, it costs extra money to have them deliver the check. My question was, is in 1099, mm -hmm. you're not taking taxes out. Right, correct. In a W-2, you are. Right. So are you going to be catching us up on the six months that we didn't pay taxes in the first or the beginning of the fiscal year so that when you W-2 us, it's accurate information? Otherwise, you're going to have to give us a 1099 and a W-2, aren't you? Because it won't be it won't be the right percentage of taxes paid out of Right. Those. Let me talk to Darsha and see how okay. the best way to handle that is. Okay. I don't think they're going to be upset that uh, pay, but we'll find out well, for the 1099. We have to, have to make so much money. Right. We get a 1099. I think they're pretty close on the cost. It's not over 600 bucks. Yeah. And half the year is all money. Uh -huh. It's Let a me, full, you're, see, you're doing fiscal year and you're doing calendar year. Right. It's two different well, things. I'm doing January, so January, January, now. January yeah. to June, six months, 600 bucks. Should this be taken up by a bargaining unit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's for another. I know, that's funny. <laughs> I, I will get back to you on that. Okay. It's going to be <coughs> all that reconciliation and stuff in the next couple of weeks. Um. I had a question. I came in to write uh, sign checks, and there was an invoice for a tool, and it had no. It had a very limited description on it. We discussed it, uh -huh. and um, uh, obviously, since you didn't make the purchase, you don't have that background information on it. Right. So I would like to ask Kelly, 
we purchased a digging bar for like 89 bucks. And I don't remember who we bought, purchased it for, but it wasn't like from Blake's or somebody. I don't know if, I don't know if somebody Burt went Industrial. in. Who? From Burt Industrial. Burt Industrial? Yeah. Is that shipped to us or do we go in there and pick no, it up? We wouldn't pick that. Okay. And so is it something special? Digging bars are about 30 bucks. I That's like 20, I 29 dollars 99 I, Yeah. I bought three on yeah. that, that, that afternoon. You paid 90 bucks for a digging bar, Kelly? I'm just, excuse me. I got the floor right now. Okay. Is some, was there something special about it? Was it like a heavy duty one, or did it's it have a heavier duty one than you would normally buy at like Lowe's or Home Depot or something? But, uh, you may have picked something else up with it. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Okay, so so that's leading into what I'm trying to get at. Um, in bookkeeping, all the information you have is what's on the receipt. And all it said was one digging bar. And I don't think it would be appropriate for a business to not be listing itemized, giving you an itemized receipt for everything you bought. Because if you, now if you got to return something, well, that, the other item is not even on them. If you looked at the invoice and it only had that on there, then that's all we buy. Okay. They itemize everything else. Okay, so then that's when I, it came into question why we were paying eighty eighty nine dollars or whatever it was for for a digging bar, and that's why I thought maybe it was something, some special end on it or something. But it's just it's a more heavy duty one. I chisel end, point end. It's uh, not a tamper or anything. One end has a blade, the other end has a tamper, so it's oh, it does have a tamper. Okay, so they're probably a little more. Um, it it would be kind of be cool if purchases had. A little bit more information on the invoice. I know it'll probably make your job easier if you know what you what you're looking at. Because I can imagine some of the things I've signed, I look at it and I go, I go, well, I don't even know what this is, and I'm I'm going to sign a check for it, and it makes me uncomfortable mm -hmm. not knowing what it is. Well, you should see the receipts. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, I know, I know you. I. I shop there and I cannot believe their descriptions. You have no idea what, what it was that you bought. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm wondering, I know we have a purchasing policy, but I haven't memorized it. But you oversee purchases to some extent. Yeah. Now, does that include uh, soup, water, and wastewater? Oh, yes. I, well, I wouldn't typically go over as daily 